much inspired you to start this? Okay, so um, a couple of uh, months ago I went to the States and uh, I met with Steve Seidel, which is um, the program director for arts and education program at Harvard University. Um, and in, through, through our chat, we're just talking about different things. And he basically just suggested the idea of having a community in Dubai that uses art to educate others. And I started thinking, we don't really have that in Dubai. So um, on a 14-hour flight back, I just started thinking of different ideas. I started researching the market. Um, and I realized there's a huge gap you know, in terms of arts and education. And I decided to come up with this initiative that uses art in order to raise awareness. Um, about different topics and educate the public about important causes. Again, uh, these causes that you're talking about, so every month you have a different cause? Yeah. And you have a different speaker every month? Um, yeah, it's either I get a speaker, um, uh, someone that's an expert in the topic, or you know, we do our own research, or we get someone, so for example, if it's a condition, we might get someone who has been diagnosed by this condition and has overcome it, so it's more personal. Um, to the audience. Uh, so yeah, it depends on what the cause is. But okay, and are these usually psychological conditions? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, mostly psychological or social. So both of them. Okay, and what, what did you study at university? Um, I majored in advertising and I minored in psychology, but my heart, my heart has always been with psychology since then. I heard that this is um, Sort of, an, sort of for a college application that you're doing this? Um, is that true? Yeah, so when I met with uh, Steve Seidel in Harvard, um, you know, he told me that they want to see like, what is potentially how could arts and education work in Dubai. Because I told him I'd like to do my master's there and then come back and bring it back to Dubai. So this is how the whole idea came together. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, what's next for Africa? Like, I, you've just started up. We just started up, we had our launch event uh, last month, and this is our second event. Mm -hmm. um, there are some talks about exhibiting the pieces that have been done by the people, but you know, we're still going through the process, uh, and maybe auctioning them at a point to raise money uh, for different causes, but that's still like under process, so mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what kind of artists are you trying to attract as students, or just generally anybody who can um, hold a paintbrush? That's a question a lot of people ask me. They go like, well, I don't know how to do arts, you know, should I still come? I think it's, it's really amazing how when people listen to the talk and they really get inspired, somehow they find some sort of creativity and they get it done on a canvas or on a paper or on clay or whatever form of media it is. So I think, you know, even if you don't know you're an artist, I think there is something out there that you can you can share. So Have you always been interested in the arts? Or? Yeah, I, I used to draw as you know as a young girl, but then just recently I started doing painting and you know a little bit of sculpture, all these other forms of painting. So. Hi, I'm Mariam Halawani, founder of Art for Thought. You're watching Be Change. Please come join us here if you're into arts. We'd love to see what you can contribute to raise awareness um, about special causes to the public.